Hi there, my cute and faithful snail peepers. Today's snail looks like something out of a horror movie, as if it could latch on to one's face and suck out everything between the ears. But before our imagination goes too wild, oops, I guess it's a bit late for that, let's stick to the facts. It does suck its prey out, but no worries, we're not on their menu. However, other cute snails are. In fact, this one is responsible for the eradication of several native Hawaiian land snails due to the introduction back in the 50s to control the invasive giant African land snail. I would like to introduce you to no other than Euglandina rosea, or commonly referred to as rosy wolf snails or cannibal snail. And this one is a ferocious hunter with snail hyperspeed like the Millennium Falcon, for instance. Well, maybe not quite like that. But it's faster than other snails and slugs and will catch them. And they devour them sometimes even with the entire snail shell. I don't find this particular snail very slimy compared to other snails like Helix pomatia, for instance, who we all know is very slimy. But I find it to be very sticky, like super glue. Very helpful for holding on to its prey, which we know are other cute snails. And since snails are belonging to the order of mollusks, which also includes squids and octopus, this one will also take to eating mussels if offered. And snails are fairly easy kept pets, but still require care such as feeding, cleaning and keeping the right temperature and humidity. Some pet snails can live up to 30 years with proper care. So when you're thinking of getting a snail, keep that in mind. You can't simply dispose of the snail into your backyard if it is not native to where you live. Snails breed quickly and lots, and that could bring nature's balance off kilter quickly. No pets should be released into the wild anyhow, and snails are no exceptions unless you caught your cute snaily in your backyard. As always, thank you for watching Snail Tales & Co.